passionate instigator and dynamic problem solver, Dr. Kevin Ross Emery, the host of the Dr. Kevin Radio Show, will be taking you outside the box, behind the curtain, and identifying the load of BS we are fed every day. And now, Dr. Kevin. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Dr. Kevin Show, where we try to challenge everyone and everything here on OTR, part of the Ohm Times Network, and I am Dr. Kevin. Uh, we are going to be doing a slightly different show today. It seems like th- it seems like these days I'm always doing a slightly different show, uh, but for those of you who are used to my format, um, we're going to do something a little different with today's guest, um, and I do want to first start by inviting you to either go to facebook.com backslash uh, my Dr. Kevin. When you get there, you can actually read all about today's guest. Uh, when you're there on the page, make sure you like it. I'm a likable guy, believe it or not. Uh, and when you are there, um, you can read about this and you can also post comments. Now, if you'd like to be part of today's show conversation, remember that we are a live show, so you can call in, you can ask questions to today's guest or to myself. Uh, If you do want to do that, if you want to call in, the phone number to call in is 202-570-7057. That's 202-570-7057. So as we always start every show, or I start most shows these days, like I said, we've been doing some change up recently. Uh, I would like to start with a hot topic. A hot topic is something that's either making me feel warm and fuzzy or getting me hot under the collar. Today, uh, with today's guest, I've got something that's getting me, that I'm a little hot under the collar, but I'm a little warm and fuzzy about in a way as well. Um, I want to talk about what's going on with health care. We now have uh, been released what the Republicans are saying they want to change over Obamacare to, um, which in a lot of ways uh, is going to disenfranchise people who for a long time were disenfranchised because they uh, can't afford insurance. They're not eligible for it. Uh, Insurance is too expensive. Um, On the other hand, one of the things they want to get rid of is a mandatory payment, uh, mandatory uh, you have to be on uh, some kind of insurance or you get a fine or a penalty. As you've heard me say on this show before, and I'm going to reiterate it today, I have always had a problem with that because they keep on um, kicking around health care plans that are tied into huge profit cycles that don't serve a very significant part of the population not a huge part of the population, but a growing part of the population, which is a part of the population that thinks that what we call health care today is sick care. That it is de- designated to, it doesn't do hardly anything, if, if anything at all, for preventative care. And it only stays in a model that is profitable to drug companies, to hospitals, to things like this. I have never agreed with the fact that I should have to buy your health care when your health care doesn't give me the kind of care and coverage that I would want. The man we have on today's show is somebody that I would go to if I was, for some reason, had a health issue that came up. I would be seeking out people like today's guest. And today's guest is not even a blip on the radar screen. So what you do is you have the land of the giants that are trying to make the wealthier wealthier and trying to disempower the poor, whether they're Republicans or Democrats. I don't care. Washington is a swamp and it is not going to look that there are whole um, well-researched, supported uh, reasons why people should be allowed to choose a true health care plan where pharmaceuticals would fall on the bottom of the list of choices. And a lot of the surgeries that are being done wouldn't have to get done. And people could actually use in people that you have other people that have inherent gifts and talents. Those inherent gifts and talents are the kind of things that we're going to be hearing about more in just a minute. 
Um, and we're going to be hearing it from uh, none other than Ed Edwards. Ed Edwards, he is a bio-intrinsic resident energy specialist. So uh, how does that sound? Well, that was a mouthful. Uh, he has a very interesting story. And instead of me rambling on, um, all of his information, again, is on uh, facebook.com backslash mydrkevin. Uh, and you can go and read it and click, web, uh, click links and go to websites and all sorts of stuff. But what I want to do is I want to bring the man on. I'm going to have him introduce some of what he does uh, and some of his history. But we're going to do that after I'm going to ask him this question. What do you think, Ed? What do you think? Mm -hmm we should be doing for healthcare today that would really serve the American people? It should be done like it's being done in Germany, where healthcare is part of the uh, government and that's where they're taking care of everything. Healthcare over in Germany is free to all its people, basically. It's all being brought in and supported and paid for through the revenues paid into Germany. And I believe that is a very good operating uh, uh, way of doing things. So if I were running the country, I believe I would look at the way Germany's doing it. Now, would now you're going to in a minute explain to my guest a little bit of what you do and where you came from, uh, where you come from, and your story. Um, and as you may or may not be aware of, you know, I have worked as a medical intuitive and alternative hands-on healer uh, since the late '70s. Mm -hmm. So. Um, would people like you and me get covered in Germany? I'm, I don't know. I haven't had insurance since uh, I got out of high school. <laughs> I haven't needed it. I don't, you know, I know how to use my higher brain functions. And if I have a problem, come on, I fix it. Yeah. Well, good. So, um, you know, I, if you had a government sponsored if you had a government sponsored health system that would allow for true health care and let people choose the path that they want, then I'm all for mm -hmm. it. Um, but if it's going to force Correct. you to do stuff uh, like ours yeah, does, that's, that's not okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That, that's crazy. Yeah, go with it with the flow and uh, look at your alternative stuff. And we need an educational program in how to eat properly, you know. And the people are just so off the wall the way they eat. That's what's causing most of the medical problems and you know, some types of foods they're eating. Okay. So um, that being said, we ha uh, now just to let you know, um, as my listeners are aware of, uh, you know, our breaks come in when they come in. I have no control over it. So um, we have about four minutes before the first breaks are going to come in. Um, and when I say okay. we're going on break, you can keep talking, but no one's going to hear you. And I have no control over yeah. it. So um, let's start with a little bit about share a little bit of where you come from and who you are um, uh, with the people in our listening mm -hmm. audience. And then when we do come back from break, uh, we're going to give them a little example of what you do. That sounds good. Um, I would be considered a country boy from the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, except I come from a very unique family, very highly intelligent. My grandparents on my dad's side owned and operated a photography studio. But my grandmother had the special ability called hands-on healing that she did. And she would do this hands-on healing on the local community. And when she would do it, she would read scripture when she did it. Well, then when I was born and came into the world, uh, I had a few complications. And so my grandmother there did this hands-on healing on me every day for the first three years of my life. And by the time I was three or four-ish years old, I could feel this electrical energy that she was producing. And I couldn't really understand what she was talking about, but I could feel the energy. And then by the time I was five, I was playing with it. Didn't know what it was exactly, but I could feel stuff and I could play with it. 
time I was six and got into preschool, I could play with it, and the other kids sitting around me could feel it, playing with it. Learned how to do all kind of little neat things and earn some crazy nicknames. And then as I worked my way on up through school, uh, I really started learning how to do stuff. And so I was just a very mischievous kid that uh, stumbled onto the abilities of being able to control my higher brain functions. And by doing so, I could create literally gravitational waves to pull and push people with and make them rock. Make them uh, tangle. Um, I learned how to, because I come from a very rural little country town, uh, there's a lot of bullies in that area, little rednecks and stuff. They used to beat up on me a little bit because I was strange and different. But by the time I got in the third grade, I learned how to generate an electrical field around me about 15, 20 feet out. You know, just like the one I use in preschool, kind of make them tingle. But if I was threatened and felt like I was threatened and going to get attacked, when the bullies would get within 10 or 12 feet away from me, uh, like they was going to beat me up, it would trigger their bladders to release, and they'd start peeing all over themselves. <laughs> so I learned some pretty good defense systems, you know, doing that growing up. And we've got all these special abilities. Our higher brains will turn into a generator and produce all kinds of energy and stuff. And if you learn how to manipulate the energy, you can just mess with it. Uh, I learned how to do all kinds of things. I had to be in church all the time, Southern Baptist, so I'd sit there and play with energy on the congregation and the main, main services every Sunday. Had some amazing effects right there. Now, you know, I've got a so question for Okay. And I got a question for you, and we're going to go to break in just any second. Oh, there we go. I'll ask you when you get back, and we'll be right back with Ed Edwards. Okay. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Ohm Times. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Tune in to the Practical Intuitive Mind, Body, Spirit for the Real World with me, host Robin Fritz, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 Eastern. I'll cover personal and business intuition, animal communication, mediumship, space clearing, past life regression, shamanic insights, energy healing, soul choice, and more all to help you tap your own intuitive and healing skills. No ifs, ands, or buts. Mother, Mother Ocean. Hi, I'm Jimmy Buffett. West Indian manatees are one of the most unique animals on Earth, and we're still finding out so many new things about them. But manatees are endangered, and many of them are killed or injured each year because of watercraft collisions or other human activities. You can help save these gentle marine mammals. For free tips on what you can do, call Save the Manatee Club at 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Dr. Kevin Show here on Ohm Times Radio, where we try to challenge everything and anyone just to make you think better. Um, so Ed Edwards was sharing some of his her early experiences. We're going to let him uh, continue that and then actually demonstrate some of what he does. I do have a question for you, Ed, though. When you were sitting there in that Baptist church and you were playing with that, those energies the energies you could use to actually keep your safe self safe from bullies. Did you ever try to use it on the minister when he was really boring? 
Oh, yeah. I, did, I used it on him. <laughs> and uh, one of the biggest things I learned to do was during silent prayer in there, um, when I create those gravity waves, and I'll demonstrate it here in a minute, but I won't do what I did back then. But by accident, when uh, he was having prayer one day, my intuition said, pull backwards on all the congregation downstairs. So I set up a reverse gravity wave, pulling backwards on everybody. And when the preacher hit silent prayer and it got real quiet, uh, my intuition said, let go, release it, change the polarity field and push and squeeze. And when I did, I pushed and squeezed and squeezed. And all of a sudden I heard a rumble and then about... Fifteen or twenty people farted downstairs. <laughs> and yeah, so well, I practiced that for seven years. Hey, and every you know, time we had perks like that, you know. Uh, you know, and I've heard some pretty stinky things come from the altar before, so it was appropriate. Yes, um, it was very appropriate. <laughs> they made they forced me as a little kid to sit there, and I couldn't stand to sit still, and that was just driving me nuts. So I had to do something. So I played with energy with them. Okay. But anyhow, I grew on. I grew on out of that. And I grew on up, and then finally, uh, going through life, I never could find anybody to tell me anything about this, other than it was, you know, supposedly come from God, and then uh, blah blah that you do this and that. Well, I finally, in 1994, I saw in 2020, Dan Rather was doing an interview with Dr. William C. Levingood, a biophysicist from the University of Michigan that had developed equipment that would measure the electric fields in the body, electrical systems within the body. So I got in touch with him, told him about all the crazy things that I could do after I saw him on TV, and he was a real skeptical old scientist, but he said if I could get up there to Michigan, he would test me. So we got up there, and uh, he tested me, and I made his little machine go absolutely nuts. And when that happened, that got me into research. Um, we got that on video on my YouTube channel when that event actually happened. But uh, that started it back in 1994. So since 1994, I've been having clinical studies done on me, which is my passion, research and stuff. <clears throat> and from there... They studied me up until 2003-ish, and got it died down just a little bit. What much going on? And then in 2008, um, I got made myself known to the Ryan Research Center down by Duke University, and got into the Bioenergy Biophoton Lab, and went up there and showed them boys what I could do, and freaked them out real good. So I, they've been studying me there since 2008. I go up about every two months. And from that program, um, I got introduced into the University of Virginia DOPS program, the DOPS lab. So now I'm in the formal studies at the University of Virginia uh, Division of Perceptual Studies in Integrative Medicine with Dr. Ross Dunsey and Dr. Edward Kelly. And we go up there and we do EEG brain studies on me. So they look and see what my brain's doing and comparing that to all the other people they've studied since the 70s, and they really freaked out. They've uh, now allotted them another $3 million to extend the studies on me. I got to meet up with the medical board last time I was up last month, and um, this energy I do is making so many improvements in people. They're just uh, coming up with study after study after study to do on me. So no. it's making major Yes, go ahead. Okay. No. So um, what I'm going to do is I wanna, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then I'm going to let you demonstrate that energy after our next break. When we, when we get after our next break, I'm going to say, okay. go for it, explain what you're doing, and you'll have the whole 13 minutes to do basically whatever you want. Um, but okay. we've, we've talked part of this one away, so why don't we keep talking? I don't know how long it takes no. you to do this. But I want to make sure I give about you a good minutes. window of time. How how long? About two to five minutes at the most. Okay, okay. But you'll also probably want to set it up and talk to people about it ahead of time, and then sure. say some things when you're done. So again, I don't want that to get interrupted with a with suddenly we went to break. Um, Go right ahead with the next question. So you um, so you've got all of these different scientists researching you. You're showing evidence that there is a reality to hands-on healing. I, and I do want to share with you, I get the whole, I mean, m my grandmother talked to me when mm -hmm. I was four about my gifts and that I, 
and that I, that my gifts that people wouldn't believe me or that I would scare them or they would tell me I was bad or wrong. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I I have that. I, I have my own version of the grandmother story, so I can really appreciate it. Just just sharing with you. Um, mm-hmm. So there's a lot of talk out there that people that are starting to bring hard evidence, whether hard evidence is hard evidence for uh, the kind of work you do, the kind of work I do, or whether it may be that there are certain combinations that would uh, eliminate, uh, that might eliminate cancer that have nothing to do with drugs or prevent or do uh, some mm-hmm. of the other things. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, energy out there, Ed, um, that if somebody gets too well seen, too well known, if they start having too much success, they have a habit of disappearing. Have you ever felt unsafe? Have you ever felt like that there are powers out there that would like to see this work and you get eliminated because it 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 would cost some of these companies billions of dollars if what you do can be regulated? Mm, I think by the time they really catch on, it's it's, it's too much known. I mean, I've got this stuff scattered all over the place now. Um, and I do some funny things. I've been, like I said, I've been playing with this energy with some big, known, big well-known scientists since the early 90s and have done some demonstrations for several old boys there to make them believe they don't want to mess with me in the wrong way. Oh, you know? good, I'm good. Gonna, there's, there's there's another side than healing. There's a defense side. There's all kinds of stuff I can do with this energy. Healing's just one little aspect of it. We because, did planetary physics type research for eight years before we did anything related to healing. Well, and you know the thing is, is the energy in of itself has no consciousness. It is either bad, mm-hmm. it is neither bad nor good. It is what whatever the fingerprints that use it have the gift of it whatever it molds it into. Would you say that's a that's true right. statement? Yeah. Oh, hi. That's right. Um, yeah, I, so, can, I can make one have to go to the bathroom or I can make a thousand of them. Okay. Um, do you think that, that you could make all of Washington, D.C. have to go to the bathroom for the next decade constantly? I, I, need, to try <laughs> very, I need to try very hard, looks like. <laughs> um now, are you currently, uh, do you currently have an active practice? Do, are pe- do people come to you in an office? If somebody mm-hmm. out there is listening and they're like, well, I, you, I have no hope, Western medicine has given mm-hmm. up on me, where would yes, they find I've, you? I do. Online through my website. Uh, I, I work on most people over the phone. Uh, they can catch me in person here and there. I, I'm in West Palm Beach, Florida right now. So I've got a little office around here and then up in, ta- up in town, but I can get most people over the telephone, make them feel a lot better, super fast. Okay. And so, but hands-on so, has, a, I can do a few things more hands-on that I can't do over the phone, like uh, make neuropathy go completely out of your feet in about five minutes. If I can get my hands within about an inch of them. Okay. Okay. You know, um, things like I, that. I, I get older stroke patients. Okay, so um, if you would now does because like I work as a medical intuitive, so so there are times when Mm -hmm. the body speaks to me like I know what brought the illness or the disease to them or I know what the intelligence of it is and what it's trying to say to the person. Does that information come when you do your work or does your work just kind of go in and bring balance into things so they function? See, everybody should be doing what I'm doing. You, everybody else. This should have been brought into you when you were a child and educated into you so it matured into your brain as you developed it and were growing up. But it was taken away from you, deliberately taken away from you. I just slipped through the cracks, kind of. So uh, when I work with people, I don't heal nobody, I don't treat nobody, and I don't diagnose nobody. I treat everybody like they're just totally screwed up, and they are because they haven't played with these energies their whole life. 
So when I get a hold of them, I shoot too much juice through them. It blows the soot out of their wiring system. It knocks them all over the room, makes them get hot, tingly, and warm. And their bodies all of a sudden kick the healing mechanisms in gear, and it heals whatever is wrong with them. I've had people tell me they've had stomach tumors, and I get a hold of them, worked on them, but when the radiology reports come back, the tumors had gone away, and the lesions on the liver had gone away, and the other scar tissue had gone away. And they, I don't have to know nothing. All I do is just light you up, connect to you like jumper cables. Okay. And your so, body your body does the healing. Yep. Yep. We We, we facilitate the platform. The body does the work. That's right. Um, that's right. Um, so we're going to be going on break in about a minute and a half. When we come back, I'm going to have you do something in general for the audience. Um, okay. And then when you're done with that, I'm going to describe any and all things that I feel or anything that comes to me. If you'd be willing to, to like, sure, you can like, like me on fire. We go. I'll, gonna, I'll gonna, do it, and you can describe it as we go. I, I, and I will do that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have you do the audience first, and then when yeah. that's done, I'm gonna have you light me on fire, and I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I will tell the audience anything and everything that I'm feeling. Um, okay. What is the one thing? Like I said, we're gonna go to break any second now, but um, I'm gonna ask you when we're done with all of the stuff we're gonna do next. The one thing that most blew your mind that you've ever done. The one thing that you said, huh, now I didn't expect that. Now, don't give me the answer right now. We're going to get the answer at the end of the next segment. But I'm letting you right now know right now we're asking it. And there is our segment break. Conscious Connection, Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. The number one reason girls drop out of school in Sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Aloha. My name is Jennifer O'Neill, and I'd like to invite you to come join me every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time for my show, Spirit Chat. Spirit Chat focuses on simplifying the process of using the spiritual tools and gifts you were born with in a way that fits into your everyday life. I also teach different techniques that will help you learn how to navigate the spirit realm and empower you on your own spiritual journey. So join me this Wednesday as I guide you through the spirit world. This is why you work so hard to pay the mortgage. Because home is more than four walls and a roof. It's that porch swing and a summer evening. It's everybody over for Sunday dinner and your family sleeping in their own beds at night. Making Home Affordable is a free government resource that can make paying the mortgage easier. Call 888-995-HOPE or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov. Good night, Mama. This is why. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Dr. Kevin Show. We're going to turn this segment over to Ed Edwards. If you want to know more about him, you can go to facebook.com backslash mydrkevin. Uh, all of his websites, clicks to YouTube videos. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff there for you. But this segment is about Ed Edwards, and he's getting ready to do an audience-wide healing. Um, if any of you want to share what your experience is at the uh, in our next segment, feel free to call in. I'll give you the call-in number at that time, but please don't call in right now until the, he's finished doing what he's doing. Uh, or you can share your experience on Facebook. Listen to Facebook, go on to facebook.com backslash mydrkevin, 
and type in what the experience you had uh, with what Ed's getting ready to do. Ed, it's all yours. Go. Okay. Everybody out there, if you can, stand up for me. If you're not driving, stand up, pull your feet close together, and where you can stand, totally still. All right, so there's no power suggestion much. I'm going to kind of be quiet for about 20 or 30 seconds. It should kick in and start happening instantly or within that amount of time. You see what happens on your end. I'm going with it now. Like I say, beware of what's going on in your body or around you, kind of. All right, what I learned to do back yonder was push and pull and project these energy fields that I control in my brain. I'm vibrating a magnetic field between the left and right side of my brain at 1.618 hertz. By vibrating it at that speed, I'm able to project this energy and resonate it with the quantum field that goes around the planet and utilize it in with the quantum universe. Everyone that's hearing my voice, even here in real time or in the future, will be affected by this energy demonstration. All right, now what I'm going to do is set up a straight DC negative field and hold it. This should pull you forwards up on your toes or more. That's a DC, DC negative field. Okay, I'm going to let go of it and reverse it. Now, here's DC positive. This should have a backwards push to it. And now while I'm doing this, notice if your fingers or toes go to tingling and or your body is warming up. So here's the push. It should be pushing you backwards a little. Okay, I'm going to let off, reverse the polarity, and pull again. All right, I'm going to let off, reverse the polarity, and push. Okay, now I'm going to let go of it, let you center back up, put your feet close together. Now I'm going to pull you sideways. So be, keep your eyes open. Here we go. I'm going to pull you to your right. Okay, I'm going to let off. Now I'm going to pull you to your left. See, by going left and right, front and back, I'm working with all all the different pain circuits in your body. So if I can get them all to working and stuff, and I can move you like this, then your body's electrical system is functioning more or less properly. All right, now I'm going to pull you forwards again. Let off, now push. Like I say, that's about all I do for anybody. I can do those processes right there, and if you've been hurting or something, your pain's dropping by now. If you had headaches, they're dropping. If you had head colds and stuff, they're backing down. It's amazing how fast this stuff works on people. All right, Kevin, how you doing there? Well, I was, uh, when you said put your feet together, and you were going to get quiet for a second. I I was falling forward before you said that you were pulling. I, mm -hmm, I was like, correct. I, and I was going back. And when you said, now I'm going to put you side to side, I was already leaning to the right before you said, now I'm going to draw you to the right. I'm like, oh, too late. I'm already there. <laughs> so yeah. I, try I, to, I try to go ahead. And, mm -hmm. I try to project it before I say it so that uh, people are already feeling it by the time they hear me saying it. And I was definitely feeling it. And 
I was already doing everything before you said it, and I had no idea what you were going to say. I didn't know which way you were going to push or pull mm -hmm. or whatever. So, um, so definitely I could feel my body. It, I'm going to tell you what it felt like to me. It felt like I was being um, aligned almost with the uh, electromagnetic field of the planet in some way. You were basically, you are in a, in a sense, that's what's going on. I'm using the electromagnetic field of the planet to project this uh, gravitational wave through. The electromagnetic field of the planet is basically the carrier wave. Yep. And so, um, so I apply my energy to piggyback on it. Because, okay, so that makes sense, because that's what I was feeling. I'm like, I'm I'm getting aligned with the electromagnetic field of the planet. That's exactly what I feel felt like. And for my listeners, um, I'm going to say, I saw one brief five-minute video that uh, Ed did, which didn't include any of the conversation we just had, because I usually try not to research my guests. I want to have my, my um, listeners' experience. So I tend to try to not know too much about you before you come on. I cut and paste your bio, but I don't necessarily read it um, because I mm -hmm. want to explore, explore my guest as my, my listener does. Um, and so uh, I definitely, uh, only on the last time would I say when you did stuff that I feel there's a little warmth and maybe a little tingling um, in, the, in the fingers I didn't feel a lot mm -hmm. of that, um, but I felt a little bit of that. But I definitely mm -hmm. felt the push and the pull and the, and the back and the forth. Um, if you mm -hmm. guys out there tried this and experienced it, please come to facebook.com backslash my Dr. Kevin um, and type what your experience was. Were you falling forward before he said he was pulling? Were you falling back before he said he was pushing? Now, because the show gets replayed numerous times, he has already said, if you are listening to this, even in a replay, you can do this experiment. So do the over and over. So, over and over. So do the experiment, and then you can still go to Facebook. You can't call in live. And if somebody does want to call in live, the number is 202-570-7057. Again, that's 202-570-7057. So now we've got about five more minutes. Now you're going to, you're, baby, you're going to light my fire. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll light you on up and uh, tell everybody to go to my ededwards.com and register as a member and sign up at, in the, at least the clubhouse. I've got five or six different kinds of newsletters, one for adult classes, one for children classes, an uh, energy healing room, and then just a hangout room. So sign yep. up to them. And so when I, those are a Zoom webinar platform, so it's live video. And I stand people up, and you can watch me stand people up all over the world. And when I pull or push or knock them left and right, you can see all the people. It's like watching the Hollywood squares, and I'm knocking them all over the place. <laughs> well, so it's we on do... Zoom webinar, but so you go to my website and join one, my as a member to my website and then uh, those newsletters. And then as I open those different rooms, uh, I'll send you a news, a letter, and it has a link in it. You'll just click it, come right into live webinar video. Simple. And it's ed, e -D -D edwards com. Correct. Okay. Ed so edwards it is, com. It is in the uh, description of your, it is in the description on the Facebook, but I've just put it in separately in a comment field. So, guys, again, if you go to Facebook.com backslash MyDrKevin, I've made it so easy for you. You can go right there. You can click right on it. You mm -hmm. can go right there and sign up and get that information. So, um, and we still have so, one more whole segment to do, but uh, we've got about three minutes. Is that time enough for you to... to that's time to, for light you up real good. You got any aches and pains anywhere? Um, yep. I've got uh, I've got a couple of aches and pains. I, I've... Done a lot of driving right, in the last on. two days. Okay. Uh, that's good enough. You don't need no more, really. Stand up, feet together. Here we go. I'm going to shut up. You just tell them what you feel. Here it comes. I feel this energy like it's going through my body, like it's like a hunt and search energy almost. It feels mm -hmm. like it's making um, my hands feel a little uh, lighter 
in a way. Like, there's a lightness to my hands, almost like they want to raise themselves. Um, I can feel myself doing that kind of, like, alignment circular thing a little bit. I'm moving around. Um, the, the, the crampy, painy type of thing I had in my back. Um, seems to have released and let go. Um, I had some, I ha still have a little bit of pain left in my foot, but it's definitely kind of releasing. Um, but it is definitely a, it's like, it's an energy with an intelligence. Mm -hmm. Now sit down point. right quick. Okay. Turn your hands upside down, lay them on top of your legs, leave your fingers totally limp. Okay. Watch your fingers, and if I get the pulses right, I'll be able to twitch or wiggle one or more of them. Okay. Yep. Learned. You've made you've yep. made a, okay, you made a couple of different fingers, one on each hand, twitch. I learned this working with paraplegics and quadriplegics. As long as I'm locked in with them, they get full sense of feeling throughout their whole bodies. But when I back away from them, it drops off within about a minute. I'm, I'm trying to get more research in spinal cord uh, damage research. I've been able to get stroke patients that are paralyzed. I've been able to get them freed up, start moving the paralyzed side within a session or so. Okay. And you don't want a lot any, of huh? And Do you I don't really ahead? want and you don't want any information on anything that's happening in my body except as a response. Mm -hmm. Just okay. the responses. Uh, you're just giving the audience a kind of a feedback. Uh, the energy knows what to do basically. Okay. And basically what all I'm doing is charging up the mitochondria power centers and all your cells and then your nano robots that do the actual healing got plenty of juice to work with and they know what to do they're all pre-programmed with how to take care of your body you just got to have the power systems come on and activate and make them go to work now i'm definitely having some vibrational responses more in my left arm than my right um but it's mm -hmm. happening in both the arms but the left arm is definitely it's vibrating there's a vibrational mm -hmm. thing. And that's our song for break. When we come back, we're going to see if anybody wants to call in and see if Ed would be willing to demonstrate on them as well. I suspect he would. We'll be right back. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Arrow's Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Om Times Radio. Every two minutes, an American is sexually assaulted. The majority of victims know their attacker. It could be your friend, your neighbor, or someone you met at a party. If you said no, it's rape, and it's a crime. This is Christina Ricci with RAIN. Call the National Sexual Assault Hotline today at 1-800-656-HOPE or visit RAIN.org. That's R-A-I-N-N dot O-R-G. Brought to you by RAIN and this station. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the last segment of the Dr. Kevin Show. We're having a very different show. We have energy healer uh, Ed Edwards. You can find more information out about him at www.eddedwards.com, -E -E or you can come to facebook.com backslash mydrkevin, 
We have some videos and all sorts of stuff posted right there. Um, he's invited people to come on um, and go go get his uh, get on his website and see some of the things he does. Uh, he, uh, he is a biointrinsic resonant energy specialist. He just did uh, an example with the audience. If you're joining us late, go back and catch a replay, and you will actually have the ability to experience it on a replay as you did live because energy doesn't believe in time and space the way our limited consciousness does. Uh, I am gonna ask, uh, he did a uh, hailing session on myself um, and I expressed what I was going through. If any of you would like to call, our first call in that would like to have that experience uh, can call in now at 202-570-7057. That's 202-570-7057. Um, and uh, Ed, would you uh, be willing to run this through one of our audience members? Oh, yeah. And everybody that was listening got tweaked out there pretty good. Well, hopefully we will. That's, we don't a, neat always... thing. That's a neat thing about it. And it works on everybody now or in the future. It makes their bodies tweak out and run efficiently. Well, and I don't know if we will or won't get anybody uh uh, mm -hmm. Collins, uh, you know, we can never predict whether someone's going to call in or just listen to the show as a replay. Um, but yeah. I do want to invite people out there again. If you would like to experience this, this very profound healing in this moment, you can call 202-570-7057. While we wait to see if we have any callers, call-ins, I asked you before the last segment, what stands out in your mind there was there was was one or even a couple of the things that during your your career now you've been at this if i may ask how old are you i'm 58 58 so you've been you've been mm -hmm. at this for 57 years and six months or so right yeah pretty much <laughs> um mm, i've had a blast i've had a blast with it. i'm not chasing money i'm not trying to sell and get rich off of it i'm just having a blast playing with it and helping people with it doing my research my research is important you know getting those you, peer reviewed papers at from universities is very important oh and i think that's that is enormously important i would agree mm -hmm. um it gives validation to all this stuff so what i uh but um i had asked you before we started the last segment um mm -hmm. that uh what was the one thing you've done, or even a couple of different things that you've done, that when you did it, you went, now, I wasn't expecting that. Like, that, something that kind of even uh, kind of stretched your uh, understanding or consciousness of it. Is there anything that comes out that you just did a, yeah. gee yeah, willikers. There's things, I've, <laughs> there's, things I've, there's things I've done and predicted. I've, like, uh, told several people standing around me to, Watch a certain spot that in about five minutes, a boat of lightning would hit it. And I'd play with energy and have a thunderhead floating over, and a boat of lightning will hit it just like I said it would. And I've done that a few times for people. And uh, But my favorite thing is like these, like the children and stuff that are dying, and I get a hold of them, and all of a sudden their whole lives turn around, and I get phone calls out of them doctors just freaking out what I did to make their, their patients turn around. You know, and things like that. That's the most rewarding stuff, fun stuff. I get to go work with kids with DIPG brain tumors, and I run this energy through their heads to have those brain tumors and uh, with between my hands, and uh, the tumors go to shrink it. You know, they're inoperable tumors on the brain stem. You know, and I just have all kind of amazing effects there. Now, um... Have you ever, I mean, we were joking before, and again, I want to put this mm -hmm. out one last time. If anybody is out there and they would like to experience an Ed Edwards healing that can be done um, because, again, time, time, space, uh, all of that stuff are Doesn't just matter. limited by our brain, um, mm -hmm. is uh, you can do a live call-in. We still have about five more minutes on the air, which is plenty of time for him to work with one more person. Uh, and that call-in number would be 202-570-7057. Um, so, um, what, um, so, have you ever thought 
with all of the damage that's being done in our current political system of working with the biomagnetic field to actually see if um, you could raise their vibration in some way. Um, well, if I could ever get their attention, I could. I, I, I can do things that, uh, I mean, I get a hold of some boys, you know, like that every now and then. And when I ever get a hold of them just right, I get their full attention. But I've got to be presented to them. Okay. You know, I've okay. got to do something to get their attention enough to pull me in there. Okay. So... If we could somehow get you into in, in into our uh, into the room to make a presentation to all of Congress, you could zap them at the same time and maybe maybe mm -hmm. make them actually do their jobs. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so you're having so uh, we've got a couple minutes left. Um, your, on, tell us a little bit more about this current thing, because you are having a um, tons of research has been done on your stuff. Where, what is the most yes. current research that's being done, and what are they looking at? Can you elaborate on that a little bit before we wind up? Yes, I'm at the uh, University of Virginia. I'm in the DOPS lab, the Division of Perceptual Studies and Integrative Medicine. We're doing EEG brain mapping studies on me to see what's different about my brain versus all the others they've uh, been examining since about the 70s. And what they found, my brain, and they believe because I was playing with the energy, manipulating and controlling it as a child growing up, my brain is very different than the other people they've tested. Everyone else they've tested and other healers and other people doing stuff they find that their brain's in mostly an alpha state of consciousness most of the time. Some of them can slowly move it to alpha to beta or alpha to delta or so, but it's mainly in just one fixed location with me. And every time I've gone to the lab and stuff, my brain all the time is operating from theta to alpha, all frequencies in between they're finding in my head. On one side of my head, they get one pulse at one frequency. On the opposite side of my head, they get a complete opposite pulse of that frequency at the same instant in time. So there's all kind of things going on that's happening in the left and right side, right side of my brain simultaneously. So our research now is going to be getting a second EEG system to see how and what's going on in the patient's bodies when I apply this energy to them. So we've been doing studies to see what my brain's doing. So now we're gonna have me wired up, patient wired up, and both of us inside the Faraday cage in the uh, Ray Westmore Neuro Neuroimaging Lab at UVA. So our future studies over the next couple of years will be seeing what my electrical energy is doing to the electrical energies and the person's bodies that I'm applying it to. So we got, you know, just more and more studies coming. Okay, so I want to put this out now before uh, we have um, uh, before we run out of time because it sneaks up and once mm -hmm. it starts, it starts. As these mm -hmm. research studies unfold and more evidence is coming out of places like the University of Virginia, which I find. Uh, particularly interesting since they did some incredibly advanced research in reincarnation in the late 50s. Um, you yes. don't think of, of uh, West Virginia, University of Virginia as being that kind of cutting edge, but obviously it is. Mm -hmm. um, it is. It is. Um, when you get to the place where you have some, some more of the scientific research, because People need to hear when we do get scientific research of stuff that we take on faith. We know it's true because mm -hmm. we see it happen. We know it's true because yeah. we see the results. But a lot of people that are out there, uh, you know, they they live, breathe, and die by science. And sometimes science kills them Great. if they're not careful. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to invite you to reach out and connect with me, and I will have you back on my show to talk about that when more stuff unfolds. So I just want to put that out right now. 
Um, Will do. Sounds good. Definitely keep me in the loop on that so that we can get this stuff out um, and keep on getting this stuff shared with people. So you, you do work in person out of an office in Florida currently. You're doing research in Virginia. Mm -hmm. You're doing Zoom mm -hmm. classrooms right now, which people can go to Ed Edwards. So that's Ed E D D Edwards dot com. They mm -hmm. can sign up and they can participate in some of your Zoom class uh, in some of your Zoom um, things to kind of see how this energy goes goes forward and backwards and you know and kind of works mm -hmm. with them and does things like this. Um. What is the one I'm all, thing? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set up also a energy health and healing resort that people can come to in the Northeast Georgia mountains you know, on ancient Indian holy grounds. Okay. Excellent. So this energy will be up there in Northeast Georgia. I'm going to have an actual place, but you know, with the internet, we can be all in cyberspace just as easily in your front face. So. Okay. My, my, my stuff goes worldwide, but it's also fun in person. Absolutely. Ed Edwards, thank you for being on the Dr. Kevin Show. We look forward to having you back on with more information and knowledge to share.